Hey guys, welcome back. All right, so we're continuing on with our proportionality unit. Yesterday we learned how to find the part given a percent and a whole or total. Today we're going to move on to how to find the whole given a percent and a part. All right, let's go ahead and look at our notes for today. Share my screen. All right, how to find the whole. Blank is what percent of a number. To find the whole, you must change your percent to a decimal or a fraction. Remember, we do that by using Dr. Pepper. Then you're going to divide the part by the decimal or the fraction. When dividing with the decimal, you must kick the ball to the wall. When dividing with the fraction, you must do KFC. So just like last time, I'm going to show you three different ways to do this. Okay, so let's use our first example. 14 is 10% of what number? So first, we're going to do it with a decimal. Okay, so it says change the percent to a decimal. So 10%, start from the back, one, two, is 0.10. I'm going to put my 0 0.10, and I'm dividing that by 14, because 14 is my total. Remember, your total always goes, always goes underneath the house. Your part is on the outside. I cannot have a decimal in my uh, divisor, so I need to kick the ball to the wall. One, two. Now it's a 10. Because I kicked it on the outside, I must also kick it on the inside. This is a whole number, so my invisible decimal is at the back. One, two. Fill in my zeros, make sure I bring my decimal up. Now I can divide. 10 will not go into one. It will go into 14 one time with four left over, bring down my zero. 10 will go on to 40, four times, nothing left over. I still have a zero, I need to bring that up. So my answer here is 140, okay? That's using the decimal version. Let's try it as a fraction. To change 14 to a fraction, I need to put it over one. And then 10% as a fraction is simply putting it over 100. Remember, I can't divide a fraction. I have to do KFC. So I need to keep. I need to flip. And I need to change. Okay. I can cross simplify this. These are both even, so I can divide them by two. I now have a seven, and now I have a five. Um, this way, I don't have anything. Now I'm going to go ahead and multiply. Seven times 100 is 700. One times five is five. I can divide these both by five. I now have a one on the bottom. And if I do 700 divided by five, I get 140. Oh. 140 over one is the same as 140. As you can see, either doing it the decimal or the fraction way, I still get the same answer. So it's completely up to you which one you prefer, okay? The other way is with the percent bar. Remember with the percent bar, the bottom always has your percents. And if you have a whole or a total, it always goes over the 100. So let's go ahead and read our problem. Mrs. Ford has four cans in a box and the box is 20% full. How many cans can the, can the box be able to hold if it is completely full? So they didn't give us a total. They said that these four cans represents 20% of the box. So I'm going to say this is about halfway right here. So I'm going to say, let's say 20% is about right here. We're guesstimating, okay? And then they said that 20% represents four cans. We have now set up a proportion. I need to find the total. How many cans can fit in this box? Well, I'm going to see if I can find a relationship. Can I get from 20% to 100%? I can. If I multiply by five, I can get to 100%. So I should be able to do the same on the top. Four times five 
would get me 20. 20 cans can fit in this box. How many more cans does he need to fill it? So if he already has four and he needs 20, I can subtract those. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. So he would need 16 more cans to make that box full. Okay, so I've just shown you three different ways to find the whole or the total. I'm assuming that most of you will probably like the decimal way, so I'm going to continue with the decimal. Let's go to the next one. 60 is 75% of what number? So here's my percent. I need to change it to a decimal. Dr. Pepper, one, two. So I now have 0.75 divided by 60. I need to kick the ball to the wall. One, two, one, two. Make sure I bring my decimal up. 75 will not go into six. 75 will not go into 60. I need to start at 600. I need a little scratch work. I don't know what that is. Let's do 75 times five. Five times five is 25. Seven times five is 35 plus two is 37. Ooh, way too low. Let's jump a little higher. Let's do 75 times nine. Nine times five is 45. Nine times seven is 63. Plus four, four, five, six, seven is 67. Okay, so we're a little too high. So let's do 75 times eight. We got 40. Seven times eight will give us 56 plus four. Oh, right on the money. So eight, zero left over, but we still have a zero here. Bring that up, 80. So 60 is 75% of what number? It's 75% of 80. All right, 22 is 33 and one third percent of what number? Ooh, this is funky. I have a fraction in my percent. Well, remember, a fraction represents a repeating decimal. So this is what it is as a percent. So I need to move it with Dr. Pepper. One, two. So I'm gonna put 0.333 divided by 22. I need to move this, kick the ball to the wall. One, two, three. One, two, three. So zero, zero, zero. Decimal, decimal. 333 will not go into two, two. It will not go into 22. It will not go into 220. So I need to start at 2200. Again, some scratch work. Let's do times five. 15, 15, 16, 15, 16. So that's 1665. Let's do seven. 21, 21, 22, 23, 21, 22, 23. Mm, 2200, so that's too much. So we need to go with six. And I'll use this one. 18, 18, 19. 1819. So we got 1998. Okay, we need to borrow. That makes that 12. We need to borrow again, makes that 11, makes this one 10. Makes that one nine, makes this one 10. So eight, nine, 10. Nine from nine is zero. Nine, 10, 11. And then one from one is zero. Bring down the next one. We got 2020. We know that this is 1998, seven is too much. So I need to go with six again. 1998, at this point, ladies and gentlemen, we can say it's going to be a repeating. Okay. All right, let's try one more with the percent bar. Mrs. Callett's husband cut eight acres of grass at their ranch, which is 40% of the property. 
how many acres are on Callet Ranch. So again, my percents go at the bottom. I have 40%, let's say this is halfway. So we're gonna say 40% is right here. And they said that this is eight acres. They wanna know how much the whole ranch is, okay? Now, let's see if we can find a proportion here. From 40 to 100, I can't do anything to get from 40 to 100 or 100 to 40. So now I need to look this way, eight and 40. I can divide by five. 40 divided by five will give me eight. So let's do the same thing here. 100 divided by five will get me 20. So how many acres are on the ranch? 20 acres. How many more does he need to cut? So I need to subtract 20 from eight. Eight, nine, 10. He still needs to cut 12 more acres. All right, ladies and gentlemen, these are your notes for finding the whole. You're gonna go back to your folder and do some practice on your own. Remember, go with the one that you like decimal fraction or the percent part. You do not have to use all three, whichever one you like, or maybe you found another way that's easier um, to help you solve. Go for it. I am not limiting you at all, but make sure that you are getting the correct solutions. All right, guys, see you tomorrow.